I'm a former uh, Rockefeller drug law offender that was sentenced to uh, 15 years to life. Uh, I'm an activist now. I fight the laws that uh, put me away. In 1985, I made the biggest mistake of my life, got involved with drug activity. I met an individual that, uh, from a, a person on my bowling team. Basically, the guy was dealing uh, cocaine in the bowling alleys of Westchester County. I found out from other people what he was doing. And then the guys asked if I wanted to make some money. Uh, all I had to do was deliver a, a package. I wound up bringing a package of uh, four and a half ounces of cocaine from uh, the Bronx to Mount Vernon, New York. I walked through into a police thing operation. 20 cops came out of nowhere. Uh, eventually uh, went to trial and got two 15 to life sentences for the sale and possession of four and a half ounces of cocaine. So when I was in prison, I used my art as a survival tool. It helped me transcend the negativity of imprisonment. It helped me find meaning in my life I saw that art could be used as a political tool. So then I shifted my art from painting these copies to working originally at work, original work, where I kind of captured the prison experience in my art. I painted one night in my cell after three years of imprisonment. Uh, I picked up this uh, 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 mirror and I looked in this mirror and I saw this individual that was gonna spend the most productive years of his life in a cage. And the reality of imprisonment came to me because when you do bid, you don't really realize what you're doing. Maybe after the two, three years, then you understand the intensity of, you know, you spending life imprisonment. Then it hits you after, after a few years. And seven years later, it wound up at the Whitney Museum of American Art where um, the governor of New York State uh, George Pataki granted me clemency because of my art. I literally painted my way to freedom. 